Hi guys, Buda Vida, and welcome back to Bushcraft Costa Rica. Uh, today we're going to go over something a little bit different than what I have in the past, and it is this bag right here. Uh, whenever we moved here, uh, we didn't bring a car with us, so I haven't had a car for over two years. My bag here has become essential uh, in my everyday life. I carry it to town. I carry it on the buses, taxis, I carry it when I'm out in the woods, uh, up in the mountains, on the trails. This is always with me. So uh, what I was going to go over today is kind of the way it's designed. It's very, very flexible. It's very versatile. And, uh, and I also want to kind of encourage you guys because I don't sell anything on my channel. But if some of the ideas that have helped me out can help you guys out, that's, that's a good thing. So we're going to go into uh, the, diff the different things that this does. And also, I made this completely. It's all hand sewn. I didn't use any machines or anything like that. Uh, everything on here, I bought at Springfield Leather, and I'll put a link in the description. This was 9 ounce veg tan leather when it first started out. Uh, I, I didn't put any dyes on it or anything like that. This is just age. Uh, and it starts out really, really stiff. I bought the supplies for the bag and put it together using YouTube videos. Videos that are on this site or on YouTube. Uh, you can learn everything you need to know on how to make one of these yourself. And that's really what I would encourage you to do. Uh, you really don't need to spend you know, tons of money on stuff. Uh, you can find the parts, uh, make a design yourself, learn how to do the craft or whatever you're doing, whether it be bladesmithing, whether it be leather work, uh, you name it, and make one that's yours. And it's like this one is mine. So anyway, uh, we're going to get into this. I uh, hope you enjoy. Okay, guys, let's just go from the outside and work our way inside on this uh, first off on this edge is a little Altoids tin in this pouch uh, usually keep a personal survival kit in there on the other side we have this pouch which carries a uh, Victrinox multi-tool and a lighter on the back has this is the pouch that usually carries my phone and then this is my notebook and pen this piece right here helps to convert the satchel into a backpack mode and I'll show that here in a second we've got a grip right here on the bottom for backpack uh, configuration there are two D rings And the front is 9 ounce veg tan leather and the latch is a system that I completely stole from Saddleback Leather and it works great. When you open it up the bar here is probably 10 ounce leather and that was for keeping the shape of the lid so it didn't get too floppy. If you can see there's my wallet and right here you see that bump? That secures the wallet. I give it a little push, pull it out and this little Sam Brown stud you see there that goes through the back wall of the leather and keeps it in place so it doesn't slide around or fall out. So there's my wallet. Keys. Door opener. There's two pouches here. You can see that. 
We got one here out of pig suede and another one here out of pig suede. They go all the way to top of the bottom. And of course down here we have 550 cord. And this, which I don't like when I'm in the field, it's not good when you're when if you're bent over, crawling over a rock or something, and the satchel slides in front of you from behind. This takes care of that. I just hook that against the uh, satchel into that little D ring, and then I hook this on a belt loop. That stops the sliding immediately. So I carry that in the woods a lot. The strap is completely adjustable. You can see all the little holes. And it's adjusted with just this piece of leather. And it is held for two years. Just a knot. Now, nice, big, heavy leather strap and pad. There's a Sam Brown stud going through this through the pad and is adjustable so that you can kind of lock this strap in at whatever point you want. And on this side is another strap for when it's in backpack mode. And I'm going to demonstrate that right now. So I take the strap off, and what I do is I feed one side through. Put this on there. Other side, put this right here, and now it's a backpack. Uh, this has come in really handy if I've been out for quite a quite a while one day, or have had a lot of stuff in my pack. I can throw it on like this; takes the pressure off my shoulders. And I can still reach around behind and make sure that the bag's still locked. Okay, this is with the backpack on. It still reach back. I know that it's closed and locked in. Fits just like that. So here you can see exactly how the sheath rides in that slot. Pretty simple, but very effective. So for walking on the trail, the satchel stays back, it's out of the way. You can see the handle of the tracker there. If I need to get the knife out, chop brush or whatever, grab, pull, the kydex stays with it so I'm clear of my straps, nothing gets cut, it just drops out of the way, stays onto the bag, and then I can get whatever the brush that's in the way and go on down the trail. This seems to work really good so far. Okay, so that's the end of this video. Uh, next thing we have scheduled up is going over the tracker style handle and the different grips uh, that you can use with uh, this blade. Have a great day. Buena vida. Thank you.